Hello, this is Thomas Hazel, founder of CTO here at Chaos Search. And tonight I'm going to demonstrate a new feature we are offering this quarter called JSON Flex. If you're familiar with JSON data sets, there are wonderful ways to represent information. Uh, you know, they're multidimensional, they have ability to set up arrays as attributes, but those arrays are really problematic when you need to expand them or flatten them to do any type of elastic search or relational access, particularly when you're trying to do aggregations. And so the common process is to exclude those arrays or pick and choose that information. But with this new Chaos Flex capability, our system uniquely can index that data horizontally in a very small and efficient representation. And then with our Chaos Refinery, expand each attribute as you wish vertically so you can do all the basic and natural constructs you would have done if you had you know a more uh, straightforward two-dimensional three-dimensional type representation so without further ado I'm gonna get into this presentation of JSON flex now in this case I've already set up the service to point to a particular s3 account that has cloud trail data one that is pretty problematic when it comes down to uh, flattening data and again if you know CloudTrail one row can become 10,000 as uh, data gets flattened so without further ado let me jump right in when you first log into the chaos search service you'll see a tab called storage this is the s3 account and I have a variety of buckets I have a refinery it's a data refinery it's this is where we create views or lenses into these index streams that you can do analysis that publishes it in Elastic API as an index pattern or relational table in SQL. Now, a particular bucket I have here is a whole bunch of demonstration data sets that we have to show off our, our capabilities and our offering. In this bucket, I have CloudTrail data, and I'm gonna create what we call a object group. An object group is a entry point, a filter of which files I want to index that data. Now it can be statically there or a live stream in. These object groups have the ability to say what type of data do you want to index on. Now through our wizard you can type in you know prefix in this case I want to type in cloud trail and you see here I have a whole bunch of cloud trail. I'm going to choose one file to make it quick and easy but this particular cloud trail data will expand and we can show the capability of this horizontal to vertical expansion. So I walk through the wizard. As you can see here, we discover JSON. It's a gzip file. Leave flattening unlimited because we want to be able to expand infinitely. But in this case, instead of doing default virtual, I'm going to horizontally represent this information. And this uniquely compresses the data in a way that can be stored efficiently on disk, but then expanded in our data refinery on pond query or search requests. So I'm going to create this object group. Now, I'm going to call this, you know, JSON flex uh, test. And I could set up live indexing, SQS, pub sub, but I'm going to skip that and skip retention and just create it. Once this object group is created, you kind of get to think of it as a virtual bucket because it does filter the data as you can see here when I look at the view. I just see CloudTrail. But within the console I can say start indexing now this is static data there it could be a live stream and we set up workers to index this data whether it's one file a million files or one terabyte or one petabyte we index the data we discover all the schema and as you can see here we have discovered 104 columns now what's interesting is that we represent this expansion in a horizontal way you know if you know CloudTrail record zero, record one, record two. This can expand pretty dramatically if you fully flatten it, but in this case we horizontally represent it as the index. So when I go into the data refinery, I can create a view. Now, if you know the data refinery of Chaos Search, you can bring multiple data streams together, you can do transformations virtually, you can do correlations, but in this case, I'm just gonna take this one particular index stream we call JSON Flex, and walk through our wizard we try to simplify everything and select a particular attribute to expand now again we represent this in one row but if you had arrays and do all the permutations it could go one to 100 to 10,000 we had one JSON object that went from one row 
to 1 million rows. Now clearly you don't want to create all those permutations when you're trying to put into a database. With our unique index technology, you can do it uh, virtually and store it horizontally. So let me just select virtual and walk through the wizard. Now, as I mentioned, we do all these different transformations, change schema, we're going to skip all that and select the order time records event and say, create this. I'm going to say, you know, JSON flex view. I can set up caching, I can do a variety of things. I'm going to skip that. And once I create this, it's now available in the Elastic API as an index pattern, as well as SQL via our Presto API dialect. And you can use Looker, Tableau, et cetera. But in this case, we go to this analytics tab and we've built in the Kibana open search tooling that is Apache 2.0. And I click on Discovery here, and I'm going to select that particular view. Again, looks like oops, looks like an index pattern. And I'm going to choose. Let's see here. Let's choose 15 years from from past and present to make sure I find where where it actually was timed. And what you'll see here is, you know, sure, it's just one particular data set has a variety of columns. What you see here is unlike that record zero, records one, now it's expanded. And so it has been expanded like a vertical flattening that you would traditionally do if you wanted to do anything that was an elastic or a relational construct, you know, to fit into a table format. Now, the advantage of JSON Flex, you don't have to store it as a blob and use these proprietary JSON APIs. You can use your native Elastic API or your native SQL tooling to get access naturally without that expense of that explosion or without the complexity of ETLing it and picking and choosing um, before you actually put it into the database. That completes the demonstration of Chaos Search's new JSON Flex capability. If you're interested, come to chaossearch.io and set up a free trial. Thank you.